Uh, hey guys, so today I'm giving you a very exclusive special tour of my hometown. This is Kigoma. This is where I was born. This is where I was raised. So this is our house where I was born, where I was raised, where I grew up. It is in nearby Lake Tanganyika in Kigoma, Tanzania. So uh, now because majority of us, we are 13 children in my family, but most of us do not live here in Kigoma. So now this is a small guest house, uh, like a simple motel. Uh, people can be able to come and stay for a couple of days some some sort of that so where are surroundings so this is the tour of everything around us so this is where i was born this is where i was raised uh, and this is the road and this is a school where i went to primary school this is kigoma primary school i will give you a bigger tour of that but this other nearby school was built uh, recently uh, it's not that old when the time we are studying here was not there and here it used to be a very nice soccer field uh, and the, at behind it you'll be able to see uh, the building uh, a little bit uh, broken uh, there was a fire that was a movie theater back in the day uh, we used to go there for the movie theater so that is something else so what are our neighbors who are our neighbors here so I'm going back to show you around again. You see, uh, there is a little bit of cross uh, at the top of that building. That is cathedral. That is the biggest Catholic church here in Kigoma. So that is the cathedral. Uh, and the, I will show you the nearby home. Uh, is just like the uh, covenant for the sisters. So that is one. Uh, and the nearby here, uh, this is your neighbor, is also for the uh, National Social Security Fund manager, NSF manager who lives here. And the, on that big mango tree, uh, that is also the mosque. Uh, that uh, road used to be there, but was not that very nice. Uh, it is brand new uh, recently. You can see that. Uh, so uh, behind it, uh, behind this home, behind our homes, used to be the army barracks but later it was moved to another place so now it is also owned by the catholic church uh, so everything is nearby uh, if you go on that road uh, there is a car coming that way that will be, I'll be able to show you that is where there is a post office and that is also where there is a telephone company uh, where it is uh, so everything is close by where i grew up so i can come here and show you uh, some more things around uh, okay so on that building at the back over there which is it has ready on it that is the national bank of commerce nbc the uh, branch of kigoma so the regional bank office uh, the building which is the building there it used to be owned by indians but nearby uh, so everything is nearby and that here there is a market uh, so let me go to show you a little bit of the mosque so that you can be able to see So where I grew up everything was very very connected everything was very very near So this is when you say Kigoma town everything was here uh, This building is also brand new uh, Which is just here like four or five years ago uh, So this is the mosque where I was talking about uh, And if you go up over there that used to be uh, army barracks, but now it's owned by the Catholic Church. Uh, so, let me show you around. So, over there they called Mji Mwema, which is translating to the good city. Uh, so, the market is just here. So, for me, uh, from my home uh, to the market, less than three minutes walking from, from home, used to be where the containers there used to be a movie theater uh all from my home to the school used to be less than one minute walking so everything is very very connected everything is just is just near everything is around so that is the best part of where i grew up everything is very very near everything is connected uh the city is growing up but uh it was not like the way we used to live back in the day 
Uh, so, uh, for me, uh, now, uh, they used to have a lot of refugees, but now there are not. Uh, most of the refugees from Rwanda and Burundi, I mean, mostly was Rwanda, Burundi and Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, most of them, they are back. There are some, but they are in the refugee camps. They are a little bit, if, like an hour, 35, I mean, 45 minutes from here, from the town. So you can see, again, this is the home. Uh, that small blue building is also a part of a home, but uh, we do, uh, we used to use like for tuition, what we call after school programs. Uh, a lot of people come here, uh, we teach them. Uh, that's how my teaching skills, my brothers, my sisters have been teaching. Uh, so, okay, so now they are doing more construction around for the roads. So again, that is Kigoma Primary School. Uh, it used, it didn't have this wall. Uh, I don't want to go there right now, but you can see uh, it was very. Uh, the color is different now. They put like grayish. It used to be white and blue. Uh, this is brand new. Three years ago, it was not here when I came here. Uh, so they extended it uh, just because there are so many students. Uh, so they extended it. So as I said, our neighbors here, this is the covenant for the sisters, where they live. So our home, the next fence is where the sisters live here. Uh, so everything, everything is connected. Uh, for those who do not know, uh, we have a lot of these uh, in Kigoma, Bajaji. Uh, depending on the country you are, some countries they call tuk-tuk, uh, but here we call just bajaj. Bajaj is the brand name for this kind of um, tricycle, whatever you call them. So we just go by bajaj in Tanzania, and that's what they call tuk-tuk. So this is the covenant for the sisters, and here they call, it was just a small college, they used to call home craft, uh, like just for most likely uh, for the sister they had a small college here but later it was transformed to be uh, just for people taking some certificate diplomas this is another extension for school you can see uh, again that is the school but this is brand new uh, the big mango tree still there uh, that is the big mango tree we used to go uh, back in the day, going up, eating mangoes, just behind there. Yeah. You can see, uh, this school has been built here. It, uh, it has been uh, 24, two, I mean, 2014, when I came here, it was still here. So it has been here for quite some time. I think 2010 was here. Yeah, so they built it here for, for some time. And uh, as I was saying, behind there, there is a school Another school is called Kiesia Primary School, and then that is the cathedral where uh, we used to be outer boys. Uh, so everything is nearby. These are also brand new, but they have been here for more than six years. So this is the telecommunication company. Back in the day, they used to, back in the day, they used to call Posta Nasim. That means uh, the post office and the telephone company were one company before they uh, split them into two. So the telephone company is behind there, and this is the uh, post office. Uh, the, the very interesting thing about this one, when my father wanted to buy that plot of land, was given to choose to buy here. Uh, was given this either to choose this location, the post and the office, post and the post and the SIM, or post and the telephone, telephone company. We are not here before. So we were given this one and the, where we live. Uh, and the, himself he preferred that one and also he had some friends who are original uh, priests uh, these uh, missionaries also they advised him to have uh, that location than here so if he could choose here we could be living on this end but now uh, we live on that side but everything is as you can see walking from my home to the post office is less than three minutes very very close by so you see Shilikala poster Previous which we can post and assume the phone company. Yeah. So this is another building, but it's old. 
uh, on that building, uh, my friend used to live there on that one small one. Uh, it is owned by the uh, uh, Ministry of Education. So, yeah, so that is the post office. Uh, this one we used to come here and get most of the fruits from. No, this is different one. Okay, this is different one. The old big one was a little taken away. There was a big, uh, we call Kung, I don't know in English, but that is something. So if you go there on that side, there is, uh, uh, there is, we call the Pescolic Beris. A lot of people are there for fishing mostly, uh, but uh, most of the homes in this side, uh, we are just for the government owned, uh, the, what we call, uh, was from Tanzania Railroad Corporation, so you found the managers and all those people, they, are, they live in this kind of land. And again, this is a post office, and that is TRC, Tanzania Railroad Corporation. My father used to work there as a station master at one time. So you can see all these homes, we used to have friends, and my sister one time lived on these homes. Yeah, so. Our, po uh, our building, So, uh, I, we still have our uh, box office here. We still have that one. So, you see, it used to be post and a sim. Now, it's just one post office and telecommunic telecommunication. And the front of us is just the big building for, uh, for what? Uh, for the Tanzania Royal Corporation, TRC, train. And this is one among the oldest. I think it was built in uh, 1806. What? 1806, I don't remember, but it's one among the oldest. And this is a community center owned by also the Catholic Church. Uh, yeah. So they have their own also small guest motor home, whatever. And these, they used to be for the railway owned uh, quarters. Uh, I see they are still, but I don't know uh, who, if people still live here. I don't think so. I'm not so sure. We have so many friends. We used to play here a lot. But most of here, they used to live, uh, most of some of the police uh, who worked in the uh, telecommunic, uh, the Tanzania Royal Corporation, but also uh, some other people who worked in the Tanzania Royal Corporation. So we have so many friends. Yeah, see, still, still some people live here, but not many as it used to be. Yeah, so you can see. So everything is nearby. This is my hometown. Yeah. So if you go, the building after this one is the region, uh, district commissioner's office. Um, Kua Wilaya is the building over there. And if you go there, it's called Mjimwema again on that big hill. So if you turn around, you go to the market and everything is connected by. Okay, so let me end up my uh, video here just to give a tour of my short little, uh, my short beautiful town, Kigoma. So, thank you everyone.